Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to make something again. I've been making a lot of things. This time it's something I wanted for my helmet. Uh, this is my helmet. It was £80. Well, it was, yeah, £80, £79.99 from £99.99. So that was alright. So I've got my helmet here. I was looking around on Amazon and eBay for wall mounts, like hooks and stuff, so I can hang it on the wall. Came across something completely different. DIY wall mounts, where it's like, they come sticking out the wall, you can have your helmet, and there's a little hook at the bottom for your jacket or your gloves or your keys, something like that. So, I went to B&Q, nipped there the other day, um, and actually got some wood and metal, so I'm going to try and make one myself. I'm at B&Q, just picked up the wood and the metal bar, I think that's everything I need, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be alright. I made a, a pre-template of the shape I want. I want a diamond shape because there's lots of circles, ovals, shield shaped things and uh, squares and rectangles. I've not seen a diamond shaped one and I want a diamond shaped one. So this is what I'm going to do. I've already messed around trying to cut one out, this one. Uh, I went upstairs to change the card because the card was full. and. Um, I put it on the wall and I was like, yeah, I'm happy with the size of it. It is small, but the helmet's not going to be in front of it, it's going to be above it. So yeah, let's uh, get into making one of these. Don't worry, i got plenty of wood. So for this, I'll just pop the wood on the end and uh, grab my pen and I can sort of trace it out where I want the shape. Okay, now I know that's where I need to cut and uh, I can carry on doing it myself. So I'll be back in a few minutes. So yeah, this was gonna be the template, but I'm gonna change my mind and do it a bit more uh, different. So these bevels aren't so beveled, but more, more this height rather than straight down. So yeah, I think that'll look all right. So for this, what I'm gonna do is, last time I went two inches. I think this time I'm gonna go inch and a half and then flip it around, do an inch and a half on the opposite side as well. So, inch and a half there. Uh, I'll be doing 45s again, so it should come down to inch and a half on this side as well. And then inch and a half on this side. Oh, I think I did an inch and a quarter on this side by accident. Yes, I did. Oh, good thing I caught that mistake. Okay, so that should be the new diamond shape. So, um, from there, I'll have to do some uh, long cuts down here. It just depends on what shape I like. I'm just uh, experimenting with what I actually like the look of and don't like. So I'm going to use the metal bar. Push this aside. Use the metal bar as a rule. Because my one's locked away somewhere in my pile of tools because I don't have a shed. I do have a shed. I have a shed base. So that's it. So I know the middle is 7.2 because it's 144 millimeters. So that in centimeters is 14.4. Uh, so I don't know how long I want it, but I'm gonna draw the middle. 7.2 is there. See how long the old one is and see if I like that length or the new length. I'll probably go with the new length because this is also wider. I'm going to chop that and um, yeah, get all this bit cut. I do have goggles before someone says something. Usually I, <laughs> I tend to wear, I need to not wear goggles. God damn it, wire. All right, first cut. From that point to there, I still have a dot, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, from there to there now. Now I need to try and find the angle. And I think it was 22 last time I saw it on. Thank you. 
I don't think it'll be bang on the lines, but let's try it. Do you know what? I think I'm going to skip this one. Beautiful. Well done. Now I need to give it a little sand. So I need to take this off and clean this area down. Life flat. Yep. Now, I'm going to be using a tool I haven't used in a long time, and I don't know if I've got the right bit in it. Yeah, this is my router. I've had it for a long time now. Um, I've had it for two years I think, I think about two years, and I think I want to put like a chamfer on the edge or something because I've got these bits, so I might as well give it a go, I've got the, I've got the time, um, it shows me what I can do, but I think out of all of them I do just like the 45 degree angle one, I can't remember how to put the tool in, it's not plugged in, I can't remember which button it is, there's a button I'm supposed to be pressing, and it stops it from turning. I think it is that one. I'm not sure why the button's stuck. I'm not even holding that button anymore. It's supposed to come out when I squeeze it, but it's not. Oh no. Let me just tap it with something to see if it'll come out. There we go. The button just got stuck. The safety button just gets stuck. The only way I can turn it off is to hit it. That is super dangerous. Oh my god. Yeah, I let go. And it's just stuck. So I think what I'm going to do is use some double sided tape and sort of just stick it down. I've got some scissors and some double sided tape, just trying to stick it down. I don't want it jumping off so I'm going to put three strips down. Hopefully I can get it off. Should be off too. There we go, don't matter. <laughs> it wouldn't come off. I had to go get flathead. Um, oh, let's get these sticky, isn't it? I need to do two holes around here. And then um, that should be it. They're holes for mounting that piece of metal. So I'll draw them two holes now, get that out of the way. Try and minimise on the back out, the blowout, sorry. Try and minimise on that. There 
gonna leave it a bit better. I know it'll get covered with metal anyway, but that's not the point. So now, I think I'm gonna oil it. And then that'll be that, let that dry. I don't know how long it'll take to dry because I've not done oil. This bit should be the most satisfying bit for everyone. Except the can's got all these cobwebs on it. I'm using Danish oil. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It will just sort of protect it a little bit. Oh, that's a lot. That's probably too, that's probably too much. Yeah, I'll put some on the back side, dry it up a bit. Tea towel, oh, this paper towel is getting destroyed by the wood. It's just wet from the oil. And, um, yeah, it's losing it. It's just falling apart on me. The thing is, I've had trouble bending metal before, so I think what I might actually have to do is go get my welder so I can cut it a little bit and then bend it. So, um, hmm, I might have to do that. Or, put the metal there, sort of clamp it and bend it. That might work. So this is what I've decided to do. I need to unscrew it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to try and make it so I can bend the bar through this. So this will be that hook at the bottom, so I can bend that round. I'm going to have to get a hammer. Put that underneath like this. Screw this in. Pod on the floor. <sighs> that sort of worked. It got this paint off the top as well. Be the top that I might do now. I'm just experimenting, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing right now. So I could use that for the top, sort of trim that bit. I need to bend it this way. This bit needs to come this way. And so this bit from here needs to bend up. But then it also needs to bend down. Well, okay, this is going to be weird to explain. Try and stand on it. <laughs> That's sort of helping. Okay, try that. Then here, I need to do another bend. So, like this. So, the helmet's going to rest on top of here. This is going to come out from the wall. We should probably go check the the helmet and stuff to see where it should be. Okay, so it's going to be coming off the wall like this. So it's about here. I need to start bending it back down. So if I keep my thumb there. Right. Okay. So. Bend this down. Like that. A little bit more. Like that. So I need to have something like that length. Bend this. Let's try and bend it. I have to stand on top of it because I've got no way of standing on it. Right, so that needs to be squeezed a little bit. If I can hammer it flatter, that'll be great. 
I don't use this for timber anymore. I use it for just whacking stuff, which is soft. So, let's give this a whack. Should be all right. Oh, that'll work perfectly. I'm going to change it for my grinding disc. So I think I've got the basic shape. I think it's going to be really hot still. Yeah. Um, I've got pretty much the shape I would like. I think I'm going to round these corners over here as well. And then that'll be that. Before you see me do it to this, so I'm going to just do that to that off camera. I got it finished, it's up on the wall, it looks really nice. I can hang my gloves on here, like this, look. It's a bit like a bobblehead when you first put it on, look. Not that you. I can take it on and off the wall pretty easily. Just like that. I've not seen a diamond shaped one before, so I think I'm the first one to do a diamond shape. Possibly not. But yeah, thank you for watching, uh, like and subscribe, and share with your friends. Yes, share. <laughs>